Well, you're an ugly bastard. You fought well, for a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. Is that your way of thanking me? Maybe I was wrong about you. We'll see. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness. According to her. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. They seem... That's what they've been trained for. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing, not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. Here, let me help you. I'm fine. It's nothing. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Bisonir. Did you not hear me? Fulgorn, Suna! What? Wait! Fulgorn Bisonir. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. There must be something you can do to stop her. She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush our enemies south of the wall. No. That's not why I'm here. Lord Gregor told me the North Grove can never be lost. And if he were still alive, he'd tell you Ironrath can never be lost. Family's more important than this. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling.
Jailer! Please. Shut it! Please come here! I, I wonder if I can pry it loose. Hey, get away from there! Jailer! Jailer, come over here! Oh, don't you start again! Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it! Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Tell me! Please! I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the Father, whatever gods you believe in. I don't judge you. We've all done things we're not proud of. I have a son. A little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin, his tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do, nothing, just to hold him again. That's what getting out of here means to me. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. There's nothing to be done. My lord, please, please take me out of here! Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Oh, no, no. Come on, you! No! no! Oh, please! Wait, wait! No! Get off! Shut me! your fucking mouth! They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. <laughs> Enough! I've come to talk. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about our encounter in the streets. I realized that I'd overlooked something of great value. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms, too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Why would I do that? What's in it for me? You keep your head, of course. And I'll get you out of here. But if you don't value that, think of your bloodline. Your precious Forrester legacy. This is your chance to make sure it carries on. 
What are you talking about? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. So we'd rule together, as Lord and Lady of Ironrath. <laughs> That's an amusing thought, but not what I had in mind. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that cowboy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home, but you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? Fine. Have it your way. <laughs> <laughs>